Hi everyone, Melissa here. Come on today with my Creative Time Design Team projects today. So I made two projects for you. And so I don't wanna keep you, so I'm just gonna jump right in. So today I am using a few dies and some stamps. So from the Stay Beautiful um, stamp set, I'm using Happy Spring, as well as the Coordinating um, Sentiment dies. And then I'm also using this Bumblebee Gnome die. I'm using just about everything, and I'll show you what I did with that little bee. All right, and then from um, the uh, dots, flowers, and solids, which goes with spring gingers, I'm using um, the green papers from there. So we're using those right across there. And then one of my favorite dies, of course, bunch of fun circle dies. And I'm just using, I wanna say this circle right here. So, I made a very simple card today and love how it turned out. It's just so simple, love it. So anyways, with the Bumblebee Gnome die, I cut off the wings as well as the antenna and just made it a plain gnome. And so you're able to do that. And then also uh, with this background color, I cut that out in the, uh, the background die. Let me show you real quick, just to make it a little bit easier for you. I did, I did uh, use the background die in, the, in color this time. And then I used this little piece to add the black for the uh, little feet down at the bottom. All right, and then once I put the die together, I cut off the antenna. It just makes it easier that way. If you do it that way, and then you won't cut anything that should be there. All right, so love how that turned out. It's just so cute, so colorful, so springy. And I thought Happy Spring was the perfect sentiment for that. Added some enamel dots on there, and, turn, and it turned out just so cute. I love it. And I did not finish the inside, but I will. <laughs> but that's what I have for you for that one. And now on to my next card. Okay, so let me share some of the things I used to create this card now. What I was thinking about was April showers. And so I thought, hey, rainbows. Why not do something with a rainbow? So here are some of the things I used to create my scene. All right, so I'm, I pulled out this uh, My Creative Time, the um, popcorn die. I'm not sure what the actual um, sentiment is. It's gone off here, but I'll have it go across the screen there for you. But I used that small popcorn die. Um, also pulled out this cauldron, and I used just about every piece from there, almost. Not everything, but I'll show you what I did. And then... I pulled out her uh, Rainbow Sentiments, and it's called Rainbow Sentiments. <laughs> I use Brighter Days Are Ahead, and then I also use Happy Rainbow Dies, and I'm using almost everything except for the largest rainbow there. And on here, I use the Rainbow Background Die. All right. And here is this adorable card that I created. You see where I had the idea for that popcorn? It's my little goat nuggets. <laughs> it's perfect. I thought that turned out so perfect. So what I did do was I cut off the handle. I just trimmed it off and then I laid most of the stuff in gold on the, um, on the uh, cauldron except for this little round piece there and it goes uh, around the outside. But I love the look of the popcorn dies. It just, it was so perfect for nug gold nuggets. And then um, I just wanted the, my hearts to be in red so I can kind of sort of go in rainbow colors. So we have red, orange, yellow, and green. And then there goes my clouds. I used the um, Ribbon Blue Distress Oxide ink. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I just uh, had it go around dark around the outside and left a little bit of light in the inside. But love how it turned out. I thought that was just so cute, so colorful. And it just makes you think of April showers. And so hopefully those will bring May flowers. <laughs> but anyways, I did not finish off the inside, but I will. So those are both of my cards for this week. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of inspiration to pull out what you got. And if you don't have it, make sure you use my code, MOE, to get 10% off your total purchase. That's all I have for you. Thanks so much, everyone. You will have a blessed and crafty day.